Well, how you doing, everybody? Bones, we're back. Uh, we uh, we did a test. I was telling you in a prior videos about us uh, doing some road test with a minivan, with a new cell. Well, not really the new cell, but with the cell. What a difference, man! I, I, I just can't get over the difference between a bench test and a real car uh, you think you've got so close with the bench test to mimic what the car is going to do and well I tell you what it really takes you for a loop and I have an idea why and what we're doing wrong and why we're not getting the results in the vehicles that we are off the bench but anyway uh, that's not the issue for today today is I redesigned the bubbler again um, I still like my dual core. I haven't been thrown that away yet. But what happened in my road test was I showed you how I put the the Y in there to think I was going to push the foam bubbles down into the uh, breather or into the sight glass instead of back out. Well, needless to say that didn't work. But what happened from pushing so much foam out, I filled up my little bubbler my bubbler when I started might have been somewhere around here full of water within I don't know 30 minutes I was pushing water out my out my vent and uh, flooded my uh, arrestor so obviously it built up enough pressure because it couldn't push the pressure through the water that was in the arrestor and I blew my top off so um, again this is zero fossil fuels design with a piece of plastic in there and if you could picture in my service van it is I, I have a metal cage a metal um, console between my two seats and the console's got a little shelf coming over it that I have my laptop computer on so picture this pink piece of foam being the metal uh, off of the uh, off the minivan, and you're driving down the street, trying to pay attention to traffic on I-40. That's like bumper to bumper at 70 miles an hour, and all of a sudden this cap decides to launch like a missile. Wham! Hits the bottom of that metal thing. Needless to say, one of the guys that I have working with me about jumped out of the van at 70 miles an hour. So it was pretty. It was pretty. Well, it wasn't funny then. It's funny now though. But anyway, um, what my thought is, is I'm going to still go with uh, inch and a half PVC. But what my thought is, is I'm going to take this elbow off here for my sight glass. I'm going to put a nipple in here to come out. And I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill and tap my... I'll, 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 I'll glue this assembly together on the bottom. I'm going to pre-drill it and tap it and I'm going to actually screw it on there till it's tight till both of them are tight that will hold my bubbler right to my cell and then I'm going to put a, a fitting on here to where I'll slide just a piece of this clear tubing over top of this barb here and then that fitting will slide over that rubber and this barb and make my connection from my inlet to my bubbler now what I'll do inside the pipe is on that connection where I thread that where I thread that um, fitting into the side here I'll put an elbow and shoot my vent down to the bottom for my bubble to work so my thought is this is going to attach to the side of the the tank my inlet port is going to come in in here even though that's only going to be the feed pipe that's going to lead it down and then I'll put my my top on it and I'll, I'll just vent it out my top what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to close off this design and I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, my auto reset that I got from the install guys over there and just put that on top of the bubbler 
uh, I think that'll be a uh, will help a little bit uh, as far as uh, scaring my co-workers out of the out of the vehicle next note I want to make I was pointing out this uh, PVC valve CPVC valve I'm sorry uh, CPVC valve that I bought at the auto parts store. I paid ten dollars for it. Note to selfs: Do not, and I repeat, do not waste your money. Leaks like a sieve. It is a PCV valve. I got it in AutoZone. Do not buy this. I will clean this, put it back in the container, and take it back to AutoZone for ten bucks. I don't mind spending a couple of dollars and finding out they don't work, but when I spend ten bucks and this thing can't even hold back two inches of water column, I got a problem with that. Now I know it's got a one inch water column set, so I've tried blocking it until it would build up enough pressure. Um, I end up I ended up putting one of those caps, like like just the same design that Zero Fossil Fuels got for this. I did basically the same thing to that cap just to stop it to leak. So, uh, I mean, if I've got to do all that, then it's defeating the purpose of it being there. Um, and it was pretty interesting because when I, when I blocked this off, uh, we shut the unit down to go into a uh, service station to get some water, not for this, to drink. And um, when I came back out, it was funny. I always run uh, blue water, as you can tell, in everything I've got. Uh, it, was, it was sucking all the blue water in, which I knew that. I've told you guys that in the past, um, that this thing pulls a vacuum and it's going to pull the water that's why that's there it's going to pull air from anywhere so my that's why I put a check valve on top of this we've showed you on the YouTube on how it pulls this particular valve on the bench top works fine I don't understand whether it's just this this particular one valve or this style so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and remove it completely um, dollar for dollar dollar for donuts believe it or not the best check valve I've found now, only for this purpose now, for the inlet, okay, look at this thing's full of water, it's dripping water out of it, um, is to go to an, a pet supply store and get those little blue or green check valves for a fish tank airline hose. They're like $1.19. They work for this. Now, I'm not saying to put it on your, your, tu on your, on your exit tubes because you don't get enough volume through it, but just to, to, to feed the air back into your cell, I'm telling you, dollar for dollar, it's the best dollar you'll spend on your cell. So um, that said, I'm going to go ahead and build this. I got a phone, a couple phone calls I got to make while I'm doing it. Uh, so as soon as I get done built, I'll snap a couple pictures of it, throw it up on this uh, particular uh, video, and uh, if everything all goes well, I should be able to get this back in the service van tomorrow. Uh, headed for another two-hour drive tomorrow morning. So. Um, I'm kind of eager to get this done, but I'm kind of wore out, so I really do need to get some sleep. So um, we'll see. If not tomorrow, then the next day. But until then, uh, experiment hard, experiment safe, and uh, thanks for watching our videos. And we'll see you on the next slot. Thanks. Bye.